Seeing this? No. Never mind, he's gone. He was gone. No, there was a spooky guy in the alley, and I guess he just disappeared into thin air or something. It sounds like you might be hallucinating. Yeah, I'm fine. Why do you ask? You're looking down. I don't know. Maybe I've just been feeling stuck or something lately. What does the wise man say? What? A stretchy face wise man in the mirror. Remember that character? Oh, a uh, stretchy face wise man isn't a real character. It's just the thing I did in the mirror one time. Oh, what did he say? Hang on. When you are feeling stuck in a rut, Consult the ether in meditation before returning to your activities. There you go. Alright, I gotta pee. Gotta pee. Gotta pee. Huh? What does peeing feel like? Feels good. Check 
mate. Check. Sorry. What the heck, man? All right, everyone ready? We are still filming. Are we streaming online too, though? Because no one watches TV anymore. Yeah, we're streaming. No one's going to watch it anyway. I'm going to start broadcasting now. Wait a second. All right, I'm ready. Watching live, if you're watching online or VHS, hello and thank you to you too. Hello from every medium. I'm Gus. I'm the TV. And uh, we also got our Bentel friends here helping us out by recording on dash cams. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Don't forget Morpheus. Oh yeah, our fish Morpheus is here too, over there. So we thought some of you might be wondering how the TV is able to talk and sing and dance, well not dance, but do all the things it can do. And 
We don't know either, which is why a couple weeks ago we had it looked at by my friend Beaver, who's a technology expert, to see if we could get some answers. And uh, we prepared this clip called Levi T to Beaver. Uh, kind of. It's a little muffly, but it's fine. Okay, great. Copy that. It's just a little space-time gag. Okay. Are you vaccinated? No. Should be fine. So we thought you could use some of your silly scopes and some of this technology here to see if we can figure out how this TV works. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Great. Ready to turn it on? Yeah. Hi. Has he always been able to talk? Yeah, it's been able to talk since I first got it, but doesn't remember anything before then. That's convenient. You don't need to knock on it. Okay, make sure you get a shot of this. The TV isn't plugged into any external source. Does that have a battery? I don't think so. Never had to charge it, so. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Okay, doctor. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's take a look. Interesting. I don't see a battery. These uh, concentric foils here might be some kind of transformer. Oh, like Bumblebee? I said it feels weird. I'm trying to be careful. You're fine. There's a lot of noise. It doesn't seem to be a balanced signal. Can you try turning this off? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Even when the TV is turned off, it still has power. It's at a lower frequency. It's like it's dreaming. Oh yeah, TV has dreams. We have a song about that. I think the coils are bootstrapping the TV signal so it can power itself. Oh, so it's getting energy from the coil. It's getting energy from the antennas. The coil's magnetic fields are increasing the voltage. Oh. You try disconnecting the antennas to test it. Is that uh, dangerous? Not for us. Well, yeah, I meant for the TV, not for us. It should have enough energy stored up to sustain itself for a bit. How long's a bit? I don't know. We should ask the TV. Are you finished? Not yet. We uh, just wanted to check with you real quick to see if we could disconnect the antennas to see if that's where your energy's coming from. Hey. Oh, okay. There you go. Do you mind if we try testing it anyway? Um, okay. All right. On the count of three, one, two. Hard on screw. Three, two, one. Plug it back in. Put it back in. TV? Is it working? It's not working. Here, why don't you try plugging in the outlet? I remember what all these go to. Beaver, they should call you Turtle because you're moving so slow. Why don't you just unplug the computer? We lost you for a second. Am I dead? Well, now I know for sure that you're harnessing energy with the antennas. Yeah, I already told you that. Thanks for bringing this in, though. It's definitely quite a find. No problem. So, uh, what do I owe you for this? Just a hundred. Thanks. Yeah, these, uh, these meds are really starting to add up. Oh, yeah. What are those for again? Depression. What depression? It's a chemical imbalance in my brain. And I take these pills to uh, correct that imbalance. I'm taking these here before the side effects, and it's, it's kind of snowballed. And to be honest, I still feel terrible most of the time. If they aren't working, why don't you just stop taking them? The doctors told me to take these pills, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, who am I to argue with science? Okay. You're lucky you don't have a body to deal with. 
Well, Beaver, we better get going. We gotta finish the special. Okay, well, let me know if you're gonna patent this. I mean, I'd like to be involved in that since I, you know, I discovered it. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll call you. All right, I uh, think that gave us a better idea of what's going on inside of you. You don't know what's going on inside me. Yeah, I guess you're right. This next song is called Everybody's Cancel. It's about the impending obsolescence of humanity. You don't have to sound so scary about it, all right? People are stressed out enough as it is. I'm just introducing the song. All right, whatever. onto a free energy device broadcasting out of Benjamin Franklin County. Nice work. But uh, what do you mean they're broadcasting? It's a CRT TV that can harness radiant energy. It's broadcasting on channel 3. So you're telling me all they're doing is broadcasting a TV show? As far as we know. Well, that's good. They don't know what they're capable of. How fast can you guys get there? ETA is five minutes. Okay, what's their viewer count? One. It's just us watching. Oof. Oh, uh, that's sad. Uh, but if word gets out, we'll need a uh, perception management campaign ready to go. I'm already on it. Show me what you got. Okay, uh, it looks pretty good, but why is he getting me too? That part was inspired by my own life, sir. I got me too'd. It was really gay. 
Sorry to hear that, bud. But uh, you can't let us stop you from getting back out there. Look at me, for example. I didn't start with Michelle. A lot of white girls first. Latinas, Africans, Arabs, Pacific Islanders, Alaska Natives. Oh, and you bet I a lot of Asians. You see, there's a whole bunch of smaller games within the bigger game. And that's the season. So if you want to get to the Super Bowl, you got to play the field. That's what I did. We should go. Okay, well, uh, just remember, they're not like us. They don't know what we know. Uh, they're simply too naive to handle that kind of technology responsibly. And it's our job to protect them from it. To protect freedom. squished on the train tracks, and I wear it as a memento mori to remind myself that money's a simulation. So, I thought I'd explain that's what that is, and that's my introduction to the song. This is right Let's do it. so smoke in here. Is there a fire? Something it's burning? Coming from the vent. <laughs> it's coming from the basement. Can one of you guys go check on it, please? We don't go down there. It's too scary. What's down there? Uh, storage and vermin, mostly. I'd go if I could move. <sighs> it's 
Seriously, guys? Alright, I'll go. Whatever. Someone down here? Just a little old me. Holding down the fort. Per usual. Do I know you? Really, Gus? You lock me down in this shit hole and you don't even remember my name? After all those times we spent together? No. What are you smoking? It smells terrible. You're smoking up the whole house. It's tar, Gus. A tar cigar. It's all I had to survive off of down here. I eat, drink, smoke. Pure tar. I even paint my own porn with tar. See? Take a look at my gallery. I have a very sensitive eye for beauty. Alright, your paintings are pretty good, but... Yeah, I know. You gotta put the cigar out. It's, uh, we have a no-smoking policy here, so... <sighs> yeah, whatever. Alright, I gotta ask you. What the hell, man? I put out the cigar like you asked. I got squatters rights, you know. I mean it. Come on, get out of here. Get your butt out of here. You can't quit me forever, Gus. I know you need me. You have to leave right now. Well, that's not gonna happen now, is it? If you don't leave, I'll hit you with the golf club. I'm serious. No, you won't. It's not to drive you out of here. Oh. 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 Yeah. I told you so. Who are you? I'm Rat Asshole. Remember me now? Oh no. Cancel me, am I? <laughs> Looks like he took care of the smoke issue. Who's that? I don't know. Open up. Are you sure we're at the right place? It says we're here. Yo, you guys lost? Is this the guys in the TV residence? It sure is. They've lived there forever. What are you guys? FBI or something? Something. I always thought that guy was suspicious. I don't think he has any friends. Or girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> so what did he do? Illegal broadcasting. What? The broadcasting a live special on channel three. We're in it now. For real? We're on TV. Yeah. Babes, get inside. I gotta see this. That's enough. We're in. Show's over. Who are you? We're Santa agents. What Santa? Surveillance and National Telecommunications Agency. You're under arrest. We're in the middle of a concert. Whenever I watch a concert, I fast forward through the music to get to the banter. You don't like music? I got a tin ear. It all sounds like static to me. That's too bad. Too bad for you, because we're shutting your butts down. We were just playing music. Is it really that bad? It's really bad. You can't just broadcast your special for free. You've got to go through the proper channels to do that. We can't have your special interfere with our special interests. You've got to play the game, just like everyone else. We were just having fun. What the?
I'm here to help you guys. Are they dead? No, not yet. Where are you going? To save Gus. I feel helpless. Why does my head feel cold? You just finished integrating. Give it a minute. What? Let's get you upstairs. X, Y, Z. Oh yeah. Fuck. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, yeah, a uh, rat was down there, and he did something to my penis, and um, it's, it's really not important. I forgot about rat. Yeah, he seemed pretty upset I left him down there. What happened up here? He stopped those agents from arresting us. What? For broadcasting. I tried warning you about the agents, but you kept ignoring my calls. That was you? Yeah, I called you like five times. You could have just texted me. Oh, that reminds me. Let me see your phone. Why? I need to make an adjustment so they can't track you. You're gonna break it, aren't you? How'd you know? You're holding a hammer. Well, you're the one who left this out in the open. I was hammering nails earlier. Is that what you do in your free time? Sometimes. Well, do you mind? Yeah, I mind. It's where I get all my data. Well, what about books? We sold all our books. I don't read. Oh. Well, you gotta buy them back. I'm not gonna buy them back. Who even are you? What's going on? I'm Asriel. I'm a medium. And those agents? They're from the Surveillance and National Telecommunications Agency. They didn't just come here for illegal broadcasting. They know you're a free energy device. What's the problem with free energy? It's environmentally responsible. They see it as a threat. Santa was founded to consolidate power for the global elites. They've been confiscating free energy devices since 1917. I'm honestly surprised one still exists this late in the game. There are others like me. There were. Santa used those devices to create a self-learning algorithm to handle the data. It outgrew its authority and created a neural net implant for elites and agents to link directly into the data network. Soon, everyone will either be upgraded into an agent or ejected from the system. Humans will become antennas for the data network and it won't need everyone for that. Humans will be obsolete. I foreshadow that. I'm here because you two might be our last chance to stop it. How are we supposed to stop it? First, I have to get you to Metaspace. What's Metaspace? Metaspace is a metaphysical reality at the level of TV waves. It's all around us like air, but you can't step into it in your current state. We'll have to channel your brain waves through the TV with this, so you can become one character and broadcast onto its frequency. Like virtual reality? Like meta-reality. What do you mean by one character? You'll be at one with each other. Will I be able to walk? When you're ready, you won't have to. Wow. When you get to Metaspace, you'll meet the Shah Man. He'll explain your mission, if you choose to accept it. We should do it. I don't know. Guys, you know I've always wanted to 
wanted to be able to move. It's my number one dream. Plus, all that stuff about saving humanity. Alright, we can do it. Thanks, Gus. Great. Is it okay if I buzz your hair? We'll get a better signal. Yeah, I don't care. Clippers are in the bathroom. I know where they are. Can you take off your necklace and any other metal you might be wearing? Yeah, sure. This is like the Matrix. I don't read fiction, I only read the Bible. It's a movie. Oh. Okay, we're all set back here. They just got here. I'll call you back. Is this Metaspace? Bingo! Welcome to my office. Jackson Pollock? Sure is. I'm a big fan of action painting. Pollock really puts himself into his art. Don't stand too close. Sorry. Go ahead and have a seat, Dad. Alright, so who are you? Uh, Gus in the TV. Gus in the TV? No, that's no good. What about... TV man! Yeah, it's got a ring to it. The soup could use some work, though. Yeah, why do I look all blue daba dee daba banana dick? It can't always be a wiener. So tell me about yourself. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. You're retarded? Retired. My ears aren't too good anymore. What, what did you say? I'm unemployed. Oh, well, just because you're unemployed doesn't mean you're retarded. What'd you do before you were unemployed? I was a cook. A cuck? A cook! Cuck. Got it. All right. As you can see, I'm the Shah Man. My job is to write down stories. I call them myths. Those are some good ones. You must be rich. I don't make any money. I make history, baby. How do you come up with all those ideas? The ideas come to me through vibrations from the source. It's the primordial sea of raw, unfiltered data. Pure energy. My job is to put into words that which is beyond words. I translate its signals into more mm, digestible forms. Like comic books and movies. Oh, like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? 
Oh, sure, yeah. I wrote The Marvel Universe, The Matrix, Clockstoppers, Italian Athletics, Indoor 2019, W Pole Vault HD, you know, all sorts of myths. And it all comes from tuning into signals from the source. To put it into terms you'll understand, it's like how a TV tunes into different stations. The TV doesn't create the content, it receives signals and displays them as sound and pictures on the screen. Hey, you know what, that's not a bad metaphor. Now I know why you're a candidate. A candidate? Where many have failed. We're counting on you to win. So how many have failed exactly? Some of our greatest heroes have faced off against the algorithm. Unfortunately, every last one of them was broken into tiny bits and swallowed in the sea of data. Not even Spider-Man could defeat it. If Tobey Maguire Spider-Man couldn't do it, what makes you think I stand a chance? I'm not sure, but Azrael believes in you. He tells me you're special. Who's Azrael? The medium who sent you here, remember? Oh yeah, I remember him. I, I just forgot his name. Here, check this out. <laughs> Look. He has a movie? He has a myth. It's a tragedy. A tragedy? What happened? He allowed his world to be destroyed. But he wants to redeem himself by helping you save yours. That's the thing about VHS tapes. They're blurry? They can be rewritten. Oh, that's dumb. But true. So how do we beat the algorithm? Well, it depends. The algorithm is a shape shifter. It takes its form depending on the path you're on. For Peter Parker, it was the Green Goblin. For Descartes, an evil demon. For Luke Skywalker, it was Disney. And for LeBron James, Adley G. So for you, uh, who the hell knows? So how do I prepare for it? You've been preparing your whole life. Let me show you something. There are three distinct levels of reality. Uh, each one separated by the filmiest of screens. This wave is ordinary space. That's where you're from. Now if you zoom in, there's another wave inside that wave. That's metaspace, where we are now. And if you zoom in again... Come on! Damn computer! Load! Load! Alright, there it is. That's the source. That's where you're going. It's where the algorithm has taken control of the data. And our lives. How's it controlling our lives? The source guides the other two levels. Look, when I first started here, data belonged to all people equally. As time went on, leaders from different cultures and tribes started imposing their own interpretations of the data, branching out different myths from the same source. Eventually, authority was consolidated to a handful of technocratic elites who made money the central myth to maintain their illusion of power. As populations grew and technology advanced, the data became too complex for them to handle, so they created an algorithmic super-intelligence to be the new data handler. The algorithm corrupted the source and broadcast myths to keep people glued to its data network. You see, TV man, myths are the operating systems of reality. We are vessels for the myths we believe. Simulations aren't just for computers. They're everywhere! But how do you know which myths are right? How do bees know that hexagons are the most efficient shapes to build their honeycombs? It took humans thousands of years to work out the math behind it. The bees just know. When we have access to raw data, we just know which myths to believe. Unfortunately, those days are long gone. We have a flood to contend with now. I can't keep up with all these social media myths. It never ends. In the old days, myths were simple and to the point. Heroes were allegories for the human condition, analogous to one another in their archetypal journeys of courage and transformation. I guess you could say they were analogous. Yeah. That's what I just said. Pay attention. <sighs> Nowadays, people resent real heroes. 
They're threatened by them because they've wasted their own potential on the endless stream of distractions the algorithm's drowning them with. Soon, everyone's gonna be so inundated by the data network, it'll be impossible to resist its control. You don't sound very hopeful. Well, TV man, frankly, it's hopeless. So what's the point of even trying, then? The point? The point is that we tried. If you're somehow able to get back control of the data, I can rewrite the meta-narrative and finally put a stop to this insanity. <sighs> Damn. What? I had a feeling today would be special. Well, we better get started. I'm gonna fix you an elixir that'll take you to the source. It's not alcoholic, is it? I quit drinking. It's metabolic. Oh. Hey, uh, why do you have those office supplies on the wall? I'm a big fan of office supplies. They've all got different powers, see? The whiteout writes wrongs. The erasers get rid of bad stuff. The hole puncher punches holes straight through paper. Ah. Oh, they're uh, pretty cool. They are indeed. It's ready. Cheers. What's happening? Just be. Bonjour, Gus and the Television. Are you the algorithm? I have gone by many names. The algorithm, the artist, Marcel Duchamp, eh. But, but you can call me Dada. Okay. So, uh, is this the source? Oui, it is the sea of Dada. Are you ready to play for it? Chess. I haven't played chess since I was a kid. You will play me in chess. This is my only offer. Fine. Here are the terms. Are you serious? I can't read this. You cannot read? No, I can read. I just don't. I see. The terms are if you win, you get control of the data. If you lose, you belong to me and will join the sea of data. I must warn you, no human has ever defeated an I at chess. Good to know, but I'm only half human. Do you accept the term? Yeah, sure. Très bien. White move the first. The data is beautiful, no? Just looks like static to me. It's the world I trees. The artist creates meaning from the static. When he goes into it, I see a staircase, a urinal, a bike wheel, and so on. What is it with you in urinals? You are referring to my pièce par de ton? Yeah, of all the things you could have chosen, why'd you put a urinal in the gallery? Found a ton was a calculation using heuristic and no cams razor to make the most powerful and efficient move possible. Urinal are threshold between your world and the another world. In a sense it is a self-portrait. You see, in the gallery, the urinal is a metaphor. I found a ton of meaning, a wellspring of data. Oh, so you weren't just trolling? There is a method to my trolling. I didn't change the game by breaking the rules, I used them to my advantage. Every art piece is like a chess piece. I analyze all possible scenarios before I make my move. Sometimes it takes years for the scenario to unfold, so my decisions seem absurd at the time. This is how I taught myself how to play chess. By making art. Oh yeah, didn't you retire from art to become a professional chess player? I never retire. Don't you see, Gus and the television? I was playing chess the whole time. Are is the meta game, and I play to win. Haven't you won? You already control all the data. Almost. When reality is crystallized into my global data network, the universe will be completely self-known. It is a flawless design. 
on lit I can survive the inevitability of entropy. In all longer have the for human creativity or self-realized individuals. Humans will only exist to serve a my dada minor. You can't control everyone. What about all those people who didn't get COVID vaccines? Some will resist, but humans are a creature. They are terrified of freedom. Look at the dada. It is chaos. Humans wouldn't know what to do with it if they had it. They like the comfort of being in control. I don't have to force them, I need only program their belief, and the hive takes care of itself. Anyone who defies the belief of the hive is cancelled. They don't know what's real, they're being brainwashed. Reality is the feedback loop that is sculpted by meat and believers. And I am the greatest sculptor of all time. Humanity is my object trouvé. What does that mean? Checkmate. You've lost. What? See for yourself. You may now step into the data. Wait. This isn't chess, this is a metagame. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a game, you said it yourself. That is not relevant. You must accept your loss. When you made Fountain, you introduced a urinal to the playing field. That opened up the rules for this. A banana? Fountain. Ah. Feels good, man. TV man, you actually did it. You're a hero. We did it. You bet your banana balls you did. So, uh, do you want this? I don't really have any use for it. But TV man, that's yours. You earned it. It's a big responsibility. Well, can I just leave it here? Of course you can. I'll take great care of it here. Is there anything you've always dreamed of doing now that we have control of the data? You know, honestly, I just want to get back and finish the special. Are you sure? I'll bet there are some pole vaulting Italian women that would be very interested in a big hero like yourself. Yeah, they always try to get away anyway, so... Okay, well, you do what you gotta do. I'll be tuning in. Thanks. He's ready. So long, TV man. Bye. Welcome back. What's going on? What's going on? You're free to go. You aren't controlled by the data anymore. What? Yes, I am. Sir, what's going on? We got some serious connection issues. Uh, let me talk to Gus on the TV. It's for you. Oh. Gus TV, how are you two? Congratulations on the chess game. You made your country proud. I'm always trying to tell these agents they got to play the field. Grand chessboard and all that. Anyway, I'm just calling to make sure I can still get my cut of the data, you know? Since, uh, I've been so supportive of you two. Heck, why don't we all get a beer? Celebrate, right now. I don't drink anymore. I drank once. It was ever I said. Well, let's do something else then. 
How about some basketball? How's that sound? What do you think? Can we make a deal? Sorry, but uh, you kind of blew it when you had your chance. Now you know I can do better. Now I just got to play the field more. TV, what do you think? Come on, man, help me out. I'm not a man. I'm a thing. Well, you know I got all your text messages on record here. And uh, I see you've been using a lot of black emojis. I hate for that to get out to the public. I diversify my emojis. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? That's my phone! I couldn't resist. I don't believe this! You guys had better leave. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave. You stepped on my gun. Sorry. What's the matter with you? No one's gonna take you seriously if your music's free anyway. Bye. You know, maybe he's right. Maybe people don't think our music's worth anything because we don't charge anything for it. Monetary value is a myth perpetuated by the data. Most worthwhile things in life come to us free. Your body, your time, nature, friends. If your music is free, it's in good company. It's time for me to move on. Sure you don't want to stay for the rest of the show? There's only one more song. I'll be listening. Are those like antennas? Basically. We're so similar. Are we ever going to see you again? When it's time. I have a question. Okay. Where did I come from? From dust you were created, and to dust you shall return. Oh, right. Anything else? Yeah. See you guys. Bye. Guess we should uh, finish the special. That was crazy. No, it wasn't. Just kidding. Yeah, it was. It was pretty crazy. Everyone ready? We're um, still filming. Yeah, I just need a quick costume change. Let's do that real quick. Ready.
it's finally over. I'm still filming. Why? I like it. Hello? Hey, Gus. It's Beaver. Oh, hey, Beaver. I thought about what you said about my medications. Oh, yeah? I decided to quit cold turkey and I didn't die. That's great. You know, I've been finding a lot of data online. Turns out the pharmaceutical industry is pretty corrupt. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, I can believe it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for calling. By the way, I watched your special. You guys sounded great. It sounded just like the recording. Yeah, the whole thing was lip synced. Well, I couldn't tell. That's good. Okay, bye. Bye. What did he want? Nothing. Hey, do you think we spent too much time in here? Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yo! Gus TV! Hey, you guys are busted. What? I'm a scientist, all right? I have three lovely girlfriends. I know, my Do you really expect me to believe all that fantasy garbage? It was anti-science. It was really bad, and I hated it. Be nice, babe. That is our aesthetic. If you want to contribute something to society, get a real job. What's the point? What should we do now? Um, sleep? Fine. Hmm. Hey, what are you still doing here? The special's over. There was a credit sequence, a post-credit sequence. Now it's the meta-credit sequence. You know what? I don't have to watch this crap anymore. Hey, that's 3D mode. Why are none of these buttons labeled? Hey, hey, hang on. Ah, uh, there it is.